and welcome back to my channel. Um, today we are going to do the e.l.f. haul slash beauty look using e.l.f. products. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory. I bought a bunch of e.l.f. products and we're going to see how they work today. It's kind of like first impressions. Um, I'm so excited to share this with you guys and I really, really hope you enjoy. So keep on watching. All right, everyone. Hey, so getting started, I briefly shot a video um, earlier about all the stuff I brought home from e.l.f. Um, there is just so much of it, I don't even know where to begin. So let's figure that out. To prep my skin, I'm going to use the sample they sent me of the Mineral Infused Facial Primer. There's that guy. Focus. It's not going to focus. Cool. And then, let's see. Multi-purpose primer, primer preps your skin and helps fill in fine lines so makeup goes on evenly for a long-lasting matte finish. I'm game. Hey, matte finish. Yes, yes. Um... It says, apply to clean skin prior to makeup application. Use a small amount and blend evenly over the face. Okay, well, first I'm going to moisturize my face because I can't not moisturize. Like, my moisturizer keeps my skin feeling soft and dewy, and I just have to. Um, I didn't get an e.l.f. moisturizer. Um, I also didn't get an e.l.f. foundation. However, I was thinking, if y'all can make this video get 100 views then I will 100% test out that foundation. So, get to 100, share, tell your friends, um, because I really enjoy doing this, but it's kind of like when you're standing at a mirror talking to yourself all day, and there's just nobody out there, nobody watching, it's kind of like, it's really sad, it's really depressing, and it's like, I want to create a safe space for people and I want to create a space where everyone can kind of just compare like videos, compare life stories, um, just meet new people and really that's that's where I'm at with all of this so share, share um, and I will do an elf foundation look. They have a few that I really wanted to try too so you know. All right, so I am all moisturized. Let's take a primer. <laughs> it's got a little perforated edge, but of course I am a rule breaker. I never, yeah, anyway. Okay, so I'm going to take the primer on my finger and just dab it in where I need it. Okay, it does feel a little silicone-y, a little, like, um, a lot, it's, it tastes, er, tastes, it tastes, it feels a lot like the Smashbox, um, photo finish primer. Alright, so we're gonna move into the next thing. Um, let's see here. I do have some e.l.f. concealer. I'm going to go under my foundation with this because I do have a feeling it's a little bit darker than my skin tone. Yep, so this is a really dark color and this is the lightest color that they offer, which is weird in a concealer. Um, this is the tone shade Ivory, but it's really like a dark tan. I don't know when I would ever be this color or why this is the lightest shade they sell. Come on, Elf, get your shit together. Um, I don't really like it. And then I'm just going to blend it out with a makeup sponge. Blend it out, it doesn't look so bad. Um, as you can see though, it really kind of doesn't match my skin at all. I'm gonna go in with my foundation, put on my normal face. And when I come back, we will try out an e.l.f. product. Blending, 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 blending. I'm blending out my makeup. This is my blending song. Blending, blending, blending out my makeup. Blending, blending, blending. This is my blending song. Oh my goodness, you guys. I didn't realize just how long this takes. 
You guys, tell me why I keep getting so close to my mirror. What is going on? I can see that the primer definitely closed my pores some, which I really like. Okay, to go in with same, some contouring bronzer by Elf. And the really nice thing about this is I also have a brand new contouring brush from them as well. It's here. It's got a really nice tapered end. Sorry I'm not really talking through all of this, you guys. I just kind of did the look without really knowing what I was doing. So I'm just sort of carving out those cheekbones. And this color was a lot darker than I thought it was going to be. Kind of disappointed me a little because I like a lot of pigment, but I kind of feel like in a bronzy type of situation, you shouldn't be so pigmented. Um, just so that you can kind of build coverage instead of going in too heavy and not being able to blend it out. I didn't really explain what I was doing here, but this is the e.l.f. setting powder. Um, it's just translucent and I'm putting it all over trying to kind of dilute the bronzy contour a little bit. And it slightly works, but not really. Um, I just kind of put it everywhere and hoped for the best. Guys, my, um, my camera stopped recording because there wasn't enough storage and it takes too long to just delete it, so I decided I am not going to. So this contour that I just put on, I was a little heavy handed on it. So I'm going to take this Kabuki brush and just try and buff it out, you know? And try to stipple the shit out of it. No, it's not coming off. Okay, so this is fun. Anyway, love this brush. This brush is so soft. All right, let's see what's next to our eyes. So I'm gonna use this three thing of eyeshadow. Probably could hear my dogs barking. Sorry. All right, and then I'm gonna use a new eye brush. Mm -hmm. Not bad, right? Not bad. We're gonna do it dry first, and then if that doesn't work, I'll get the brush a little wet. If you see me looking here, my mirror is right here. So I'm gonna do this real quick. Okay, is there even any product? So I'm gonna have to get this wet <laughs> because that didn't work at all. So let me get it wet. So I've gotten my brush damp and I am just taking, oh, I see you. I see you, Elf. I see you. Makes it kind of a creamy texture. There's some pigment. Okay. So it sucks that you have to get this brush wet. But at the same time, once it is, it's kind of like a creamy eye pigment, which I really, really, really like. I'm not going to get the darker shade wet, just because I feel like this is a really light eye look and I don't want to get it too dark. Okay, a couple strokes and I'm going to just bling, bring that out on the outer edges. Bad. Um, I'm gonna take that other shade that's not the purple and just lightly go over the middle of the eye 
sort of blend it out a little bit better. Okay, overall, this eyeshadow isn't great. It is not very pigmented at all, and it's hard to blend. Um, and I can't really get any more purple on this eye. I tried to, like, layer it, but I just can't. Yeah, eyeshadow probably, like, a 6 out of 10. Just because of all the extra steps that go into it, I, I don't really, I, I don't like that. No, can't say I do. Okay, so, let's see. What do we want to do next? Um... I have so many brushes. Let's do the eyeliner next. I'm going to take this cream eyeliner with the little eyeliner brush. And I am going to gently grab some product. Never done this before. So, bear with me here. Yeah. So, it's not bad. Maybe I like it. Alright. I would definitely say don't use this brush. Um, get a different brush for this. Which, duh, most people are probably looking at me like, duh. Okay. Let's do some quick waterproof mascara. Okay, so I've never done eyelashes before, but we are going to try the VIP eyelash. For a failure. Um, I cannot get them to stick with the eyelash glue that they came with. Um, maybe it's because they're not the best brand, but I messed up my eyeliner pretty bad, um, which sucks. Um, and I can't get them on. So we're going to move on. We're going to do our lips next. I have a nice little lip defining brush that I'm going to use. I'm going to... Try and get it out of the package. And then we're going to go in with the e.l.f. Cosmetics Lip Lacquer um, in color Bold Pink. Let's do our brows. We're going to take some highlight. All right, I think this is it. I think this is the final look. Um, I used tons of products today, but I will link e.l.f. down below so that you guys can go and find those products. Um, like I said in the beginning-ish of the video, if you guys get me to 100 views on either this video or the video where I'm unboxing all the e.l.f. products, I will link that video in the description. Um, 50 each or 100 on this one, I will do a foundation reveal. Now, we can either do the e.l.f. foundation, they have a couple of them, or a Wet n Wild or a Cover Girl. Um, I will also link down below um, if you comment which one you want or like this video or we will, we will decide. Maybe I'll do all three. Um, just, yeah. 100 views, guys. I know you have it in you. Um, yeah. I absolutely did not like the eyeshadow. 
didn't like it. The bronzer goes on real dark on this skin tone of mine. Um, the brushes were all really nice, like the Kabuki brush and um, the eyeshadow brush. Um, I liked that. The eyelashes, I feel like, are a big fail. The tool that comes with them, the little grabby eyelashy tool, was actually stuck together. And if you can see here, it's like misshaped and misformed. And when you're going to put it on your eye, it just doesn't, it doesn't work. <laughs> And then I used regular old tweezers. That didn't work either. And I don't know. If you have tips or tricks on how to put eyelashes on for the first time, please let me know. I am dying to do it. I have these thin little eyelashes, and I really just want that full, like, spider lash look. And the mascaras I use don't do it, and I haven't found one that does, and I really just wanted to try falsies. But they don't work. So if you have a better brand, a better tip, a better trick, let me know. Um... I'm so excited to hear from you guys. Um, make sure to follow my Facebook, my Instagram, and follow me here for updates and to just keep up. Um, I'm working a pretty heavy work schedule at my new job, woo! But um, I'm gonna try really hard to make an effort. So just let me know what y'all wanna see and I will get on it, all right? As always, have a lovely day. It was nice seeing you. Gypsy over and out.